Hey everyone, Arcologies here. I had someone reach out to me and ask uh, how they use kind of a MIDI controlled effect plugin in Renoise. And I realized that um, it actually may be kind of confusing for some people, especially beginners who may not have a f familiar grasp on the program yet. But uh, I realized that it maybe isn't straightforward, so I thought I would do a quick tutorial on it. When I say a MIDI controlled effect plugin, I'm talking about something like uh, Stutter Edit 2 by Isotope and BT or this Chord Chaos Pad plugin. I'm sure there are a whole bunch more. I don't really have too many of them. I just don't use them a ton, but when I do, I have a lot of fun with them. They're always really cool to mess around with and really easy to use in Renoise. Um, so yeah, I thought I would do a quick tutorial on it. Obviously, the first step is to uh, add these plugins to the tr whatever track or tracks you want to affect. As you can see here, I've added uh, Stutter Edit 2 to this drum group here and then I've added the Chaos Pad to the master. So that means whenever I trigger Stutter Edit 2, it's only gonna affect the drums, but when I use Chaos Pad, it's gonna affect the entire master bus. Uh, let's listen to the track really quick without effects. This is just uh, kind of a 90s inspired, uh, kind of atmospheric drum and bass, uh, kind of stepper uh, track that I'm working on. Um, I've just started it, so it's pretty, pretty cut and dry, pretty bare bones. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, I'm going to spice it up with some effects here. Um, the first thing we'll do is we'll check out our Chaos Pad. So I've added the Chaos Pad plugin to the master channel. Now the next thing I want to do here is I have on the edit screen, you can see that I've added, all right, I've added just a lane, a track here called VST Effects. So all this, all this track is doing is when it, when the sequencer hits these steps here, all right, it's going to send this MIDI note to this instrument slot. And the way that you use this in Renoise is in these instrument slots, you're like, well, how do I get an effect in an instrument slot? Well, you don't really do that. What you do is once you've placed the effect in your in your mix, on your mix screen here, in your in your track, what you want to do is you go to an empty instrument slot, all right, click on the plugin tab up here, and then you can see here, I, these are VST3s, so if I go to the VST3 effects alias drop down here, you'll see all the instances of whatever you've added to these tracks. Okay, so I have an alias for Stutter Edit 2 and Chaos Pad because those are the, those are the MIDI controllable uh, effects uh, plugins that I've placed and I'm using. Um, so if I just double click on it, you can see that it's added it to this instrument, uh, this instrument slot here. I've already done it, so I'm not gonna do it again. And so we can see here, this one uses, this is for Chaos Pad, but we can see that when it hits, when it hits this step, it's going to send the note B3 to instrument 10, which is the chaos pad, okay? And so let's listen to this really quick. And it's going to be filtered, so let's, let's check it out. All right, so it's filtered right now, but when it hits that, it's going to start going through this. Okay, so that's really cool. You can do a ton of stuff with this chaos pad plugin. I've... I've, I think I've used it once and I just bounced it with some effects and uh, that was it. But I, I definitely want to start using it more. I just got to get more familiar with it. So that's the Chaos Pad one. But again, it, you know, this is just to kind of understand the concept. So the concept is you create a kind of a, a MIDI track here that you're just using to send MIDI data to these MIDI controllable effects plugins. Okay. So we have a, we have a next little, let's take a look at the, let's take a listen to the stutter effects here. So as we can see here on this pattern, when it hits step 32, it's going to send the note D4 to the instrument 0F, and we can see that is a uh, alias for Stutter Edit 2. So let's, let's listen to this really quick. We'll leave this open. So yeah, that's uh, that's really cool. Um, you can do some really cool stuff with it. And these plugins are highly customizable and there are a ton of things you can do in Stutter Edit too. It's actually quite amazing. Um, the uh, There are like a billion presets in here too. And it's like really just, if you're really, if you're kind of into, you know, you know, performance style effects in your tracks, you'll, you're gonna have a blast with this. But yeah, that's basically what you do. So the concept is 
you place the effects on whatever tracks you want to affect, and then you create a blank channel here. Or I'm sorry, you create a blank track, and you use this track just to send MIDI to these aliases that you have for each of your MIDI controllable effects. But yeah, that's all you need to do.